Hi YouTube, Miles from Nexuscore here. Uh, I bought a box of Buddy Fight Ace Buddy Lineage, the um, the new Buddy Fight Ace box. So Buddy Fight Ace box. So it's the stuff that introduced. Uh, it, it's like um, legacy support pandering, uh, more Garga support, and it introduces uh, Dragon Blood Sect, which is that one new. Uh, like, size 3 deck that's really fun that Jose built, so maybe you'll see a deck profile on that. We got a promo. Uh, Jackknife 20... <laughs> Jackknife Dragon 2018. Um, 526. Put this on top of Monster on your field to call it. If you have an item with 6k or greater power equ equipped, this card's size on the field is reduced by 2. When an item on your field attacks, you gain 1 life. I don't think that's very good. I don't know. Uh, that... Um, okay, let's just dive right in. Uh, my friend told me that there's, like, a ratio thing with this, where every box, or, like, one box can contain an additional secret pack, a, uh, or, like, a special rarity. Um, a hundred demons are in this, too. This is literally, like, anything... No, this is, this is not even legacy support. This is anything, like, this is just pandering the set. Uh, you got your spe oh, that's a foil, beautiful. You got your spell null for uh Astro I mean for um Star Dragon World, which is super useful, better than D Barrier, and then uh all this other shit. Garmouse is cool. But anyway, um, the thing is, is that in a set, in a in a case, uh, fifteen out of the sixteen boxes can have that like ratio, um, of like the 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 you know two pack, two secret packs or two um. Oh, this card's fucking god. That's so good. Okay. Uh, Cerberus got new support. What does he do? He looks cool. Like an edgier Cerberus. Uh, put this on top of a monster in your field. Pay one gauge. All Tyrant on your... Oh, it's for Tyrant. All Tyrant on your field with 3k and a critical. And penetrate. Nice. When a weapon on your field attacks, you gain two life. Then if that weapon has four more criticals, you gain three life. So five heal total. Um, hey, Richard... Look at that, new Zodiac. Uh, it's a 937, pay three gauges and put up to two cards from your drop zone into its soul. Act during your opponent's turn. Call this card from your hand on top of a monster with Zodiac in its card name on your field without paying its call house. That's pretty good. Sorry, I just woke up. Ugh. Ugh. Um, when this card enters the field, rest all cards in your opponent's field. And for this turn, all cards in your opponent's field cannot stand by card effects. Solid. You got that new bone puppet despair. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so there's like, it's like 15 out of the 16 boxes have that, like, ratio. So there's a chance that this could be a pretty nice box. Okay, first Dragon Blood Sect card. This is a really good set spell. Get four of those. Another spell null, even though I order ordered them. Shadow, even though Shadow Dragon's got more support, and I played against the deck, and it's silly um loyalty got reprinted so get 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 a hold of this card super important for sideboards um yeah get loyalties and obstruct they're really good uh okay let's see toilets got support drag out crystal that's a fun one it's like if you die it becomes your life becomes one instead uh, this got reprinted to Sephiroth's Lecture. Um, it was like a double rare in an X. No, not an X. In an X set, I think. But, um... Oh, God. I need coffee. It's really good. Um, you can only cast it if you already cast a spell during this turn. But uh, you check the top two cards of your deck, add one to your hand, and put the rest into your gauge. So, um, just a nice additional way to, like, search out your pieces and uh it can be put in the new garga mage deck so um it helps you search out more garga like geo targets uh yeah and then oh death vault for blood sect um yeah blood sex point is that like y you have like a size three in your center and you can like like there's a size one and a size there are size ones and twos that are like uh put this from your hand to soul and like draw one or charge one and um while this card is in the soul you're the monster with the card in the soul has, like, you know, this special ability. Uh, and then you have size zeros that are, like, when your opponent's monster is destroyed, um, if you have a Dragon Blood Sect in your field, do X. So, like, this one is, uh, 
your opponent has to discard one. There's another one that's like charge and draw. Um, there's one that's heal one, charge one. And uh, Blood Sect is like about, they all have counter, it's like size threes that all have counter attack, and the point is to force your opponent to attack them. Um, and they have an ability that's like, oh, nullify all abilities um, of a of card on your opponent's field and force it to make the first attack against your Blood Sect. So you force the counter attack to go off. Another Dragon Crystal. This was almost the same pack, but we got our first double rare. Combat Deities Pulsation. This is what uh, Yuga used in um, that one fight against Masato, I think? Or, I don't know, it was an ace. Early rep and watch ace, it's so good. Uh, you may cast this card. You may only cast this card during each player's attack phase. Counter. Drop the top four cards of your deck. Choose up to one drag god from among them. Put it into your hand or call it on top of up to one deity dragon tribe monster on your field by paying its call cost. Um, so that's like another... It doesn't trigger G Evo, but it's like another way to extend your um, offense. I'm not running it. I don't think it's that great, but uh, it's it's kind of cool. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it there. Okay, that was one hollow. Ooh, we got a secret pack. It's the Dragon Blood Sect. Wow, these are gorgeous. Uh, yeah, so here's an example. Um, Dark Dream Shadow Serve. They've got their little edgy crosses right here. So it's like, this is the size zero. When a monster on your opponent's field is destroyed, if you have another Dragon Blood Sect on your field, put the top card of your deck into your gauge and draw a card. It's only, it only activates once per turn. And then here's the size two you can add to Soul. Uh, Countless Blades, Eternity Edge, because, you know, they're all chunies. Um, put this hand card into the soul of a Dragon Blood Sect monster on your field. If you do draw a card, if this card is in the soul of a Dragon Blood Sect, this card, that card gets 3k, uh, power, one critical, and penetrate. So, it's nice for the offensive. Um, go away. Uh, Grand Entrance Grazio, so this is like a search, um, you can only cast if you already have a Dragon Blood Sect on your field. Check the top three, I really like this. Put one to your gauge, put one into your hand, and you either drop the rest, or you put them into a soul of a card on your field. So if you see, like, Eternity Edge from the top three, and you're like, oh, well, I'll put that to the soul. Um, I mean, or you could just add it to hand and then use its ability to add to soul, but just in case you want it, like, there's other stuff you want. Um, prohibited Ceremony, Taboos, Ritual. Put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge. Then if you have a size three Dragon Blood Sect on your field, you gain two life and draw a card. Uh, pretty good. Only once per turn. And here's the item that you want to run, because the gloves are shit. Um, it's a 3-2. Equip cost, pay one life and pay one gauge. Uh, this card can attack, even if you have a Dragon Blood Sect on your center, because the point is to have a size three on your center. Um... All Dragon Blood Sect monsters on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, and damage you take other than by attacks are reduced by one. The uh, middle skill is really important um, because you don't want your size three to be like removed by anything other than attacks. Because while the main size three, which is funnily enough not in the secret pack, uh, it's a tripper in the set. Um, Bloody Eyes is not. Uh, he, he has like three soul. You still, you know, want to limit your opponent's options of destroying it uh, as much as possible. Um, yeah, so it's the secret pack. Kind of cool that we got that. Um, we'll set that here. Hopefully, we get something more. And the rest of this box isn't dead all the way through. Okay. Um, let's see. So we saw those. Yada yada yada. Oh yeah. Uh, Katana World Players, Sakura Fubuki got reprinted. This is a $20 card, and now it's a 50 cent common, so super important you pick this up. I'd highly recommend looking into it. Uh, Dimension Dragons get more support, although this one is decent. Um, whatever. Another Heavenly I guess I should go over this card and explain why it's so good. Uh, put this card into the soul of a prison dragon monster on your field. If you do, put the top card of your deck in your gauge and draw one. So that's already cool. But when the prison dragon with this card in soul attacks, it's your card in your opponent's field and deal one damage to your opponent. Um, there's a new Athora in this set that has triple attack. This isn't once per turn. And you can put multiples into the soul. My opponent burnt me for 24 one game. Or almost. Um, I countered. Oh, I drago trapped him. But, like, he could have done it, because he had three of these in soul and triple attack, and that was terrifying. So, Athora players get this card. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, nah, you don't run that card. Um, Gar Rabbit, Alwidol. Yeah, okay.
Oh, yep, another secret pack. This is the Dragon one. Um, so this is all for Garga. Uh, it has Legion mode, which is okay. Uh, I kind of want to make a fun build based around it. But um, it's a 927 size 2. Uh, pay 2 gauge, put the top card deck into its soul, or just G-Evo. When this card enters the field by G-Evo, call up to 2 size 1 or less DD Dragon Tribe Monster Stream Drop Zone to separate areas without paying their call cost. Uh, those cards become size 0 until they leave the field. It is double attack and soul guard. So the point of it is like you G-Evo into it, and then you call back like a Garcat and a Gardog, and you trigger their abilities during the battle phase or something, or during your opponent's turn even. Um, so that's, that's, that's cool. Uh, and it's got, like, you know, decent offensive stats. Um, not a bad card. Uh, Royal Guard, Rink Gardra. Or, the sorry, the point of Legion Mode and the Secret Pack is to call these two, which actually, they form, like, kind of similar artwork. It's really, I hate these. Like, they're not consistent. Like, if I'm putting them exactly side by side, they do not match up. But anyway, the point is that, like, they're, oh, Legion, so cool. Uh, okay, the first one's Rink Gardra. Um, it is a 5-2-1, 5 one, one When this card enters the field for this turn, it gets a critical. Then it's entered by card effects first, and all cards in your field get a critical, and this card is Penetrate. So, you know, it's like, oh, you enter with Legion Mode. Now Legion Mode has three crit. Uh, this has uh, three crit. No, Legion Mode has four crit. This card has got three crit. Um, so it's like about comboing in. Uh, but that's kind of like, that can be a build uh, all on its own. It's not really the main build you want. Um, this is, okay, Royal Guard Lek Gardra, uh, 4 two, one when this card enters the field by card effects, if you have a dragon on your field, you gain two life and destroy a card on your opponent's field. Um, so yeah, another Legion combo. Uh, this is a card you want to look into getting, Dragod Var, um, which, again, against a Thora, when they're filling up the soul with this, this is super important. It, uh, so call, cast cost is to drop a soul from a card on your field and pay one gauge, choosing yours on the following two abilities. Um, and notice... This card doesn't... It's not one of those where it's like choosing one of the following two, but you can only use this once per turn. You can cast the spell as many times as you can. Um, choose a monster on your opponent's field. Drop all souls from that card and destroy it, or destroy a card in your opponent's field, and if you do, draw a card. So that dropping soul, that's really good for Garga, Athora, um, Dragon Blood Sect, Link Dragon Order. They're all super good. And this new impact is awesome. Gargantua... Buster Break. You may only cast this card if you have a drag out on your field. Pay three gauge, you gain three life and draw three cards. Then destroy all cards in your opponent's field and deal three damage to your opponent, then end the final phase. Um, so to deal that three damage, you don't need to destroy anything. It's just like destroy and deal damage, not destroy then deal damage or destroy. And if you do just deal damage, it just goes off. But um, this is great because it gives you the upper hand, usually... Uh, it gives you resources, and it disrupts your opponent's momentum, so it's a really useful impact. I was using it uh, last weekend, and it just it was killing my opponent. So yeah, we got two secret packs. That's really cool. Um, I don't know if there's... That was like, what, 10 packs in? Not even. Let's see what else we can pull. Uh, oh, the new Windblade Joker. Um... He's an... Oh, no. He combos with an Omnilord. Flying Garbird! Rock, Paper, Scissors! It, the winner draws two. Uh, Drag on Spell. This is like your discount... Um, uh, what do you call it? Your discount um, Loud Voice. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nothing Nothing really good. Um, Drag on Spell is like a good budget card, you know, in case. Like, just heads up. If you want to, like, invest in a deck and... You don't want to spend too much money. It's a good spell to have. Uh, then we got a new mini Gear God. This is Gear God White. Um, Gar Chain. This card's cool. Pay gauge in a life. Your life is six or less. The card's a critical and it has triple attack. But like, yeah. Uh, Hiding Bomber. That's a good sideboard card for um, Dragon Blood Sect. Because it procs effect destruction. And this is a new set spell for Guardians. Because they're totally still relevant, right? Gate of Absolution, Absolution Sanctuary. Set the size of all guardian monsters on your field is reduced by one. It's kind of cool. Act, put up to three guardians from your drop zone on the bottom of your deck in any order. If you put one or more from and your drop zone is three or less cards, draw two cards. You may only have ability once per turn. You can only set this card on one, on one card of this on your field. You can only set one of this on your field. Um, okay. It's whatever. I think that's a, it's about as good as guardians ever got. 
Um, more. Oh, he's cool. Cardian. Uh, this is a card for the Thunder Empire, Cagliostro. This is the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Garcat. If you win, you gain three. And then uh, we got this Tsukikage. Uh, this is weird. It's like... It's like textless, but it's just a rare. Are, are they all that? Eh? No. They aren't. I guess it's just that, like, legacy support or something. Whatever. Tsukikage, so I don't even know if you're in it. Um, Surrounding your field, ninja monsters, all other ninja on your field gain 3, 3, and 1. Yeah, it's whatever. The mouse can be used for duty. Uh, oh, I saw... Yeah! Alright! Uh, Mauve, Heavenly Crystal Dragon... Okay, none of these matter, do they? No. Mauve, Heavenly Crystal Dragon, Athora. Uh, Athora Tanzanite. It is a 10-3-10, so it's Athora's, like, highest stats. This card's call cost is reduced by 4 gauge if you've used overturn during this fight. Um, and, you know, there's Aldo Athora where it has a really good overturn. Um... Call cost, put the top, put this on top of a size three prison dragon on your field and pay four gauge. So if you already used overturn, you just put it on top of size three. Um, and again, if that size three has heavenly ring and soul, that stays. So you get to shove it in there uh, or keep it in there. Um, this card in the field cannot be destroyed and you cannot take damage by card effects. Typical Athora. Uh, during your opponent's turn when you cast a spell, deal one damage to your opponent. Uh, it has penetrate, triple attack, counter attack, and soul guard. So really good card. I want to kind of, like rebuild a Thor and use that because I play against my friend using his complete deck and he destroyed me. Granted, my deck kind of bricked a little, but still really good deck. Heavenly Ring makes it incredible because it's like it's already a three crit, so you swing for three three times. That's nine, and then each attack burns like it. Let's say you have three Heavenly Ring and Soul. That's another three damage. So you are doing six times three. So you are doing eighteen damage. Um. Okay. What else do we got? Ah, the Deity Blue Dragon Shield. Same thing as Green Dragon Shield, but instead of life, it's 3 gauge. And then we got more uh, Blood Sex. Cool. And, you know, I'm not going over everything for the uh, interest of time. Shadow Hero, Weiss, and Schwartz. Th that's cool. Uh, they were in Triple D. I'm like, I guess they mattered. Um, another Shining Rain. Again, I already actually bought some, so... Not a big deal. Okay, we're almost done with one side of the box. And I think I, I think I got everything. Oh, cool. Ooh, hey, I really like this guy. Just because of his sheer design, we also got another Sakura Fubuki. Um, and I don't think... Nah, those don't matter. Uh, let's see who this is. Shadow Lord of Conviction. Oh, it's not even Omni Lord, even though he says he's Omni Lord. Um, Mukuro... Beast. I thought that said Benst. I'm like, the hell does that mean? All right, it's a size two, six two six. A beast. Oh, I almost read the flavor text. You guys can read that. Uh, Omni lore. This card on the field cannot be destroyed or returned to hand by your opponent's card effects. That's cool. Counteract. Choose a card on your opponent's field, and you may drop an Omni Lord or Dark Hero from your hand if you do destroy the chosen card. You mean this is ability once per turn. Penetrate and transform. Pay one gauge. That's cool. I really like his art, like a lot. All right, but I don't know. It's just like the edgy aesthetic. Just kind of bunch that up there. Okay. Um, what do we have here? Oh, the Nullifier Elegant for Dragon Blood Sect and a foil of a card you don't run. So that's cool. Whatever. I, again, I don't know what else to expect out of this. There was like one more double rare, maybe? I think. Oops. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is a double rare. I didn't know. Cooler Guard Dragon. Card you don't really run, but it's kind of cool. Uh, or should I say cooler? <laughs> Pay one gauge. Once per turn. Or no, act. Uh, yeah, once per turn. Pay one gauge. If you do, choose and use one of the following two. You gain two life or you draw two cards. That's a fun card. I like that. Um, not going to run in my main deck, but if I want to make some fun decks on the side, which I do want to try out doing, uh, that's an option to have. Um, this card's for Guardians or something. Yeah, it's for Guardians. It needs to focus. Hold. There we go. I don't think... Yeah. No. No, that matters. Thomas Edison's a card. That's cool. And look, 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 look. He's wearing a light bulb. That's all that matters about that card. 
Uh, ooh, what is that? Oh, this is like the Purgatory Knight sword. Which, by the way, I love this like really like massive sword design. Is this a no? It's not. Um, yeah. Okay. God, there's just nothing else. Uh, this is a size three for Dragon Blood Sect that you do not run. Um, it's basically one of those size threes that becomes a size zero, and you don't want to. The deck bricks if you don't really see your size threes. And at the moment, we don't have a searcher for them. But we're getting one next set. Oh, here's that one gold uh, jackknife gold Krieger. Yeah, nothing else. Um, what does he do? 726 size 2. Put this on top of a monster on your... Uh, oh, put up to one monster on your field. Put this on top of up to one monster on your field. Okay, engage. Um, cool, so you don't actually need... To put it on top of monster, even though it's still useful. If you have an item with 6k or greater power equipped, this card's size on the field is reduced by 2. Oh, it's like 2018! When this card enters the field, you may drop a hand card. If you do, put up to one Jackknife Gold Ritter from your deck into your hand and shuffle your deck. Oh, so it's a Gold Ritter Searcher. Okay. That's cool. Uh, that can count as... Granthy is counted as Gold Ritter, right? I forgot. Wasn't there a card that was like, oh, this is also a Gold Ritter? Uh, ooh, nice. We got Dimension Dragon Whistle. Uh, it's double rare for Dimension Dragon, size 1, 4, 2, 1. Uh, at the end of the battle of this card, destroy this card. If you do, look at the top five cards of your deck. Put up to one Dimension Dragon or Lost World from among them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck, uh, in any order. That's good. Um, oh yeah, the new Jaeger, too. That's funny. Uh, yeah, this card's great. It's like a, a check top five. To search for your Lost World. Because that's the point with uh, Dimension Dragon. To like turbo out Lost World. Um, and it, it destroys itself. So it doesn't need to be triggered by anything else. So it can act entirely alone. Um, oh, Sylph got a new card. Sinister, okay, whatever. Yep. Okay, this should be it. The box should be dead. Uh, so just bear with me. This is a new Shadow Dragon that's really funny. Um... I don't even know what the deck did until it... Oh, oh, cool. A, 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 a card, a double rare. Nova Guardian Jackknife, size 2, 926. Cast Call Cost. Put this on top of a monster on your field and pay to gauge. When this card enters the field by card effects, drop the top four cards of your deck, put up to one from among them into your hand, and put the rest into this card's soul. Wow, that's cool. Um, counter Act, drop a soul from this card. If you do for this turn, this card gets triple attack and counter attack. Ooh. Okay, I like that. That's cool. That's neat. Yeah, um... Alright. How many packs we got left? Five? Five. Yeah. Oh, thank god. I want breakfast after this. Ooh, hey! Okay, I didn't know we still had a triple rare left. Um, oh, I guess I didn't see any triple rare so far, so yeah. Uh, Transcend Sun Dragon Ball Soleil Future. It's an 828 eight size 3. It's a new, uh, Ball Soleil. Um, I really like this card. I fought against this deck, uh, over the weekend. Pretty cool. Call cost. Put one or more monsters from your field into its soul and pay through gauge. If this card has souls, damage you take are reduced by two, by anything, and this card gets 4,000 power and 4,000 defense, so it becomes a 12-12. Uh, at the start of each player's attack phase, nullify abilities of monsters on your opponent's center and destroy them. It also has triple attack. Great card. Uh, for, yeah. And I, I do have my Ball Soleil Sun Dragon deck, which is, well, it's been torn apart for Garga, but um, I can put it back together and show you guys. But the deck doesn't really change much, it just has a better size 3 now. And did we get anything? We got that Destroyer reprint, Destructor Vargas, Destructor, yeah. Uh, nope, cool. Right, almost there. Are we going to get anything else in these last three packs? Let's find out. No. It's uh, more swords. That one deck that I never played against because I was busy suffering at a job in fast food that I want to quit. Um, Viara, another... Car oh, hey. This is that new... Oh, it's foil. Cool. Time sale. Uh, you, know, you may cast this card without paying its cast cost if your life is three or less. Pay two gauge and pay two life. Draw two cards. Yeah wonder if that's ever practical okay last pack last but bless my pulls guys a heavenly ring that's cool did i see something shiny hey all right cool um 
This is the main size three, the 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 Chuni Dragon himself for Dragon Blood Sect. Uh, I actually get to show you guys this card. Dragon Blood Eyes, Bloody Eyes. Uh, it's a 10 to 8 size 3. Its call cost is to pay 2 gauge and put the top 3 cards in your deck into its soul. It has Soul Guard and that's really good. Um, when your opponent's monsters... When your opponent's... When a monster on your opponent's field is destroyed by your card effects, deal 1 damage to your opponent not once per turn. Um, that's already really good. Uh, and then there's an easy way to proc it with this card alone. Um... At the start of your... So this is the main thing that Dragon Blood Sect size 3s do. There's only two of them in the set right now. One's a double rare. Um, at the start of... This one's better. At the start of your opponent's attack phase, choose a monster at stand on your opponent's field. For this turn, nullify the abilities of the chosen card, and that card must attack this card alone first for this attack phase, if able. It has double attack, solar, and counterattack. So the point is, you pick a card in your opponent's field, you force it to attack this, you've got 8k defense, so... More often time, I mean, you're just force their weakest card, and um, even then, like, what card has 10k defense or uh, has 11k? Sorry, um, and then you just this survives because you know, three soul or sheer defense, and there's that set spell, um, forgot what it's called, but uh, it, it boosts up all of your dragon blood sec monsters by one one. So you just set a bunch of those, and then you put this at like a ten ten, like a twelve ten or something, and then um, yeah. So you just like force your opponent to attack him, and uh, then it gets destroyed because counterattack or because of spells or whatever. And then you deal damage to them. You cast your spells that allow you to draw and heal and charge, and you just get all of your resources off of just telling your opponent to go fuck themselves. Um, this deck's really fun against Link Dragon Order also, because they have that whole, like, oh, it can't be destroyed by effects. This nullifies. So it's like, I was playing against King Agito online, and uh, he filled up his soul with, like, Jisen, Harahara, um, Tsum Tsum Tsumanaki, Tsum Tsumaki, um... And, like, that other card that's, like, on attack, pay one gauge, destroy one. And I have the item equipped, so he couldn't use that card... Uh, Tsumanaki did give it some extra defense. Harahara would have allowed him to fe to heal, um, and G Jisen, uh, prevents the destruction, so counterattack can't, can't, can't go off. However, he enters the battlefield, he's like, oh, I attack. I'm like, hold on, dude, calm down. First off, Bloody Eyes, uh, I pick King Ayuto, negate its ability, so all of its D-shares, all of its souls, everything... And that Soul Guard 6 becomes nothing at all because it negates Soul Guard as well, and he has to attack it. So I destroy his King Agito, and he just scoops against me. It was a fun time. Okay, um, yeah. That's the set. So, big stuff. Um, Dragon Blood Sect, it's a really fun deck. Uh, look into building it. It's, it's not too expensive. It's like 180 or something. Um... You got your new Ball Soleil. Again, a lot of it, it's like legacy, pan not even legacy. It's just like pandering to older stuff. Nostalgia mainly. More Jackknife. Dimension Dragons get support. More Garga stuff. Even Omni Lords are in this. Athora players. Guardians, if you still exist, that's out there. Um, and yeah, uh, of that. Um, if you are building uh, Dragon Blood Sect, you have to get like basically four of everything in the secret pack. Um, Garga players, I wouldn't worry too much about getting Legion mode. If anything, just get Dragod Var and, uh, yeah, get, like, Dragod Var and get, um, Buster Break. But other than that, I wouldn't worry about too much. There's not a lot of stuff that you need. Um, yeah, so, okay, that was everything. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment, you know, discuss stuff or whatever. Um... Oh, I'm exhausted. It's not even 11 o'clock. Oh, it is 11 o'clock. Oh, I'm hungry. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, it's been real, guys. Uh, this is Miles from Nexus Core signing off.